Okay, here we are. Welcome back right where we left off in uh, part one of uh, beginning the in investigation. I'll be prepared for you next race better. I'll be prepared for the next race better. All right, your car is, your car isn't going. All right. Don't forget to take part in random races. There's always somebody there to compete with. What for? All right, this dialogue at the bottom of the screen is just not making sense. Um, the rewards for the race will help you pay for mechanics work or for a new car. Get better to defeat everybody in Sanders Club. I'll earn some money there. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, um, so I was, I was mentioning in the last one, you know, I'm kind of having trouble working out the steering with, um, you know, with with controlling controlling the car on the uh, on the on the highway um I, I have been practicing a little bit um off camera with the said random races so um but i'm actually going to i haven't changed any settings i, I just kind of trying to figure out how to control the car a little bit better which i i don't know if i'm doing or not um here i am on screen i'm just going through and um setting up controls which is something i suggest you guys actually do in the game you know go ahead and tweak your own controls to, to where you think they'll work best for you um yeah um but you know the, the like i said we're, we're getting back into car x highway one it's a fun game we, we didn't give it as much credit as we should have and um you know it's just as far as kind of um not so much of a, of a stressor the um i was finding it difficult and as a matter of fact it, I, I i when i was doing the practice races i'm realizing that it is a little bit um it does get a little bit more difficult than we thought it was at first. Um, I, I, I don't know if I, there's going to know. So actually, I think I was plotting for the next video. And um, so it's not actually for this video here. But um, you, you guys saw it there just quickly in the random races. You have big, um, I think it's normal, then advanced, and, and the other one. And we, we'll explore that a little bit more. Uh, so really what we're going to do this time around is we're just going to do a playthrough. We're going to try to really stick with story mode. Um, the random races, I'll probably do those more by myself just as, just to try to raise some cash to try to improve the cars a little bit. I am thinking to max this car out since uh, for the most part, when you buy a car, it's it's usually, you know, yeah, it's a new car, but it's usually just um below or just at the rating of the current car that you have um so of course it could get higher with the upgrades but the upgrades are so expensive and then the, the newer the car the more expensive the upgrades are so um you know i'm, I'm wondering how, how i should approach that so i'll probably just um the max or current car out which is we're working on the kyoto pretty much and um and then from, go from there and then if you know if, if it gets to a point which i see it happening like i said i was practicing and um with the random races and it, it gets pretty difficult and then the, the the ai difficulty is so much lower than my difficulty but the races are are proving to be difficulty difficult uh, and i think basically is it's um it has to do kind of with the handling how the car handles and how um you know maneuvering traffic uh, maneuvering the police and stuff like that the police definitely come at you harder than they do at the ais it appears to me and i'm trying to work out little tricks so here we are in a random race so a beginner advanced and pro and it's it's um it's basically just um a list like you see those star ratings those star ratings match up to the star ratings of your car um that you're that you um that you're going to drive i think we actually do do one um one random race in this video here uh, so you see the star ratings in here it says car rating um my car rating for example 153 on the kyoto and um i think it was like 155 recommended for the race or whatever um uh, but you know so um and when basically so let's talk about the series this this was our starting video so forgive me a little bit for for kind of falling over myself um wasn't sure where, where i was going to take it but um pretty sure what we're going to do is we're just going to do a playthrough i was trying to probably show you guys as much as possible um so the thing to look for in this race here is the handling of the car how the car handling 
how the car handles going down the track or you know control of the car and, and whatnot and i guess that has to do with the player a little bit but um like i like i said it's on a straight like this it's um i could handle the car okay um but once we start getting into heavy traffic that and the, 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 the traffic gets a little bit thicker a little bit closer together we throw a little bit of corners in there and um i'm finding it a little bit difficult what i'm learning to do i think is to lift a little bit so here i wasn't lifting you see i kind of and i grazed the wall the police was right there to block me and then here my opponent's gonna pass me on the left side um and and go on to win the race the races are also very short which it can be a good thing can be a bad thing you know um bad thing if you're losing good thing if you're winning right um so so the, the races aren't too long very long which i kind of commend them for that i, I think that's that's kind of perfect but um you, like you saw me there going look getting out of control a little bit um you know when it comes to the cornering and whatnot so, so what i'm finding what i'm learning to do and we're probably going to focus this a little bit on the next video that we do here is um how to handle the, the cornering or, the, or the, just how to handle the car in general and what i'm finding to do even on the straights to lift off the gas um a little bit and that will allow the car to turn a little bit easier and then get back on the gas and whatnot but what that does is what what the, the problems that is creating for me is now that my car is becoming not fast enough to, to, to compete because right, so you can see me here swinging wildly out of control I think we are gonna get we're gonna get him on this one actually what I was trying to do you saw me lifting a little bit if you're paying attention what I was actually trying to do what I was really focused on doing is staying behind him because like I said the, the cops are a little bit easier on the AI and you can see how they just let him get by there so what my what my focus was kind of to stay behind him let until until we got to the stage where the police was and then and then follow him through the um, through the police barricade pretty much because because the cops don't give them doesn't seem to give the AI, the AI such a hard time getting around but if when you're in front they they they're relentless in blocking you so um so that's kind of was like a little gimmick I was learning there but but pretty much we're talking about the handling um what I'm learning to do is just ease up a little bit let the car turn and then get back on the throttle as I said, the only the only other problem that is creating is um is it's you slow down so much from from doing that and every, the, the AI seems to be going full throttle all the time and and you know you get you get caught up real easy when when doing that um so but we are gonna do another campaign race um you can see this is an impossible mode they're showing you the, the rating of our car and then the recommended rating. Um, so this recommended rating is at 350. So I don't know if it's always going to stay that level. Um, you know, easy, easy, advanced, and, and you know, or, or whatever. You know, as far as the random race goes, beginner, advanced, and um, the, the the other one it was, you know, um, I I don't know if it's always going to stay at that level. Meaning, it's always going to stay at that star level. So when our car gets faster, it's always at that level giving us the opportunity to do more races also we have to deal with the, the issue of having um a certain amount of pips of gas to to go on but um but I, with, um, i'm just gonna try to focus and um i'm gonna do the random races pretty much offline by myself um you know so you guys don't have to sit through the pain of watching me just doing a random race and i said i might record anyways while i'm doing it just in case i get i get some good action something i think i, I wanted to i want to show you guys and here i have a, i got a false start so it gave me a second penalty but we're gonna go ahead and take it from him um Unfortunately, I think that this this is the only race we're gonna do for the campaign on this video. And um, but I promise for the next video we're gonna focus a lot on the campaign, see how far we could get with the build of the car currently. That's also something I wanna I wanna explore with you guys, um, seeing how 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 far do we have to build up the car to actually beat certain levels or or whatnot um we do want to bear in mind that i do have like the third car in the series now the, the series reset it but it allowed it allowed me to keep the cars that i currently had in my garage so i was up to the third car in the um in the showroom 
you know, um, at, the, at the point when the game uh, decided, when they decided, developers decided to reset the game. So we're at what? We're at um, level three at this point. Um, there's some other cars. Like I said, I was practicing offline. So there's some other cars I want to show you guys. There's some other cars I'm very excited to try out. But again, um, I have the dilemma of do I try them out? Are they going to handle better? How much the cost is going to be? You know, does it make sense overall for us to, to do all of that? Um, so anyways, I want to um, invite you guys to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Please go ahead and turn on the notifications so you guys are notified when I put out new new content, new videos. Um, subscribe to my other channel also, Jack in the Middle Live, if you guys like live streaming. And, um, you know, you can come visit me there if you, if you guys like live stream. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I do do a series called New Mobile Mondays where I try out new games, you know, basically every week so if you have any suggestions for that if you have a game you'd like me to try you know throw it in there throw me a comment let me know um i'll, I'll be sure to check it out for you guys you know and then give it a shot even if it's just once but we'll give it a shot and see if it's, it's something we like if something we will we, we'll decide we'll keep on the channel um all right so i want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me appreciate you so much again subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye Drop it.